Hello everyone. Today I am going to make a very badass gun theme t-shirt design. Like I get a request to show you how to make this kind of designs. Like this flag effect in the eagle. So I am going to show you how to make this kind of effect. And as you can see these are really very much detailed. Like they colored each and every feather in different colors. And that is actually made on photoshop but we are going to make it in illustrator and for making this kind of designs we need some vectors so for vectors i am going to <coughs> use some of the vectors from freepik as you can see whenever i am trying to download anything from freepik i need to remember that i can use only the vectors that are giving me permission to download and they are not premium so that is the reason i am going to use some of these vectors i don't know okay i will use this one as you can see this one is not a premium vector and i will just use the outline of this eagle here not the not this image as it is now and then i will use this wings here these are very detailed wing as you can see you can select each and every wing separately and then you can paste your color there these are another wing so i don't know which one i will use but i am going to just show you guys and this kind of design is actually called the badass kind of gun themed design so i am going to make one today this will be the text for me here the second amendment this is a us law and i am suggesting you guys not to work with this kind of text or effect here because most of us are beginners so just make this for practice do not upload this on any print on demand website that that may cause you some problems so just watch this video for practicing purpose so these are some of the vectors i downloaded from freepik and they are all are free but i am not going to use them as they are I am just going to make them modify so that I don't get any copyright problems. So this is going to be my eagle vector. I am going to use maybe a skull from here. Then I will <coughs> use a gun from here. These are the wings I am going to use. So maybe this one. And these are very much detailed wing and I don't go. I am not going to use them in my design for this one. Let's just open them. So I am going to take up them to my main artboard here then i will start the design process okay guys so when we are taking vectors from this we need to modify them and we just cannot use them as they are as you can see we can make it like black okay this one i am going to use and then of course maybe this one also i need to use a skull there maybe or just okay let's not take a skull from here so this two this two i am going to use i am going to copy this one then i am going to take them on my original artboard so that i can modify them all together and of course this is going to be a very long video because i am going to cover okay as you we are working with vectors we need to learn how to work with vectors so this is a vector from freepik you can see this this is the color layer this is the line art layer we need only the line art we don't need this color so i am turning off the color i am just taking this line art option this black image here then i need to merge it and when i am merging it it is becoming a one single shape of black color so copy that one then keeping everything in the same place and i don't need to make any changes there then maybe a wing from here this are these are really very detailed wing as you can see there are lots of small parts here so i'm going to use maybe a skull from here as you can see these are a pack of eight designs sorry nine designs in total we can use any of them and then we can modify that to make our own design so i'm going to maybe use this one as this is going with a military helmet we are going to use a gun theme design so that will help us so i'm going to copy that one 
sorry guys i am having some problem with my voice so for wings i wanted to work with this wing because this is very similar style with my eagle vector there so that will be helpful so i'm copying that and then i need to just place everything in the same place i have shown you guys in my earlier videos that i am i was tracing images for making vectors but that was just for a tutorial guys i didn't know that one day people will start following me so that's why i started taking that kind of vector to just make a video and then i realized that my channel is growing and people are following me so i stopped working like that because that is not the <coughs> legal way <coughs> sorry okay guys this, this is really hard to arrange everything and i am showing you the complete process so it is going to take a little bit time okay that is good for me i don't need anything else here and of course i will need some ribbons from this bundle here so okay so this is now my text here i am going to use them but before that using text i am going to make a graphic for us a center graphic for us then we will add our that us flag texture on that graphic so that is the reason i am taking this now my plan is to make this eagle and this skull as the center part of my graphic like this maybe not like this that just like this so that it covers the area of my eagle here then i can simply control x control f to paste in front that eagle is now in front just like this then i will use these wings to cover the side area but i need to ungroup it first because this is a two part wing i don't need one part one part will work for me so i'm going to make it bigger like this so that it fills this area then i need to okay sorry for that then i need to make a copy here then once that is copied i'm going to reflect it okay so again i need to adjust the placement here so that everything stays in a same effect same style you can see this wings i want it to cover the skull inside the skull area so my this part should be also inside the skull area that is good for me i am going to keep them as it is for now then i need to place the designs in the way i want so first of all i am selecting my skull vector here then i am going to make a offset path for my skull just like this okay maybe a bit bigger bigger in size 15 pixel maybe yeah that is looking good so once that is done i'm going to press ctrl x to cut now i need to group my these two wings here because they are going to stay together so i'm pressing ctrl g to group and once they are grouped we can use transparency to apply our effect so i'm double clicking here to opening the transparency panel okay i may get another complaint that i am working very fast and it is hard to learn so i am making it very slowly so that everyone can learn okay so once i pasted that skull vector inside my transparency as you can see i need to fill these areas because this area the wings is visible from these areas so that's for that i need to first of all merge and unite and once it is merged and united you can see this becomes a complete single shape and we can see inside this area that this is a complete single shape and that is the reason the wings are not visible from this phase anymore okay so that is done for us <coughs> now the skull and wing is positioned very well but i need to place this eagle head so maybe i will place that a bit later because i need to first of all make this three a group because if i don't make them a group like if i move anything from here the effect will stay on the place but my object is moved so that will look look bad so i'm going to make them a group so that this three stays in the same place <coughs> okay guys so this is now my gun vector i'm going to use this one or maybe i just want to make it 
reflect but transform reflect not vertically i want to reflect it horizontally just like this so that i can use it in this way okay i don't think that is the good way maybe this is the right way to reflect so i am going to right click transform and then i need to select this vertical option then if i click on copy here it will make a copy like a, you can see my first object is already there and then i got a copy then i am going to make them place them like this then i can easily place them to paste in a center position like that so that is good for me now i need to select this too then i want it to be like this but but as you can see my wings are a bit bigger so the gun here will not look very good if i put this in a smaller size so i'm going to make it just like this so that it is it becomes visible from this area and top of this skull area that is the point of my making that element so i'm going to make it reflect again then copy then i get another part here as you can see this is inside my skull area and i can move the place like this maybe this one a bit inside area so that is good for me now i need to select my this two guns again then if i align them like bottom eyes then i can make them a group so as you can see my gun is a group wings and skull is a group then i can select them and place them center wise so this is this is actually looking good but i need to need my gun to be visible more so that is the reason i am going to select my these two guns here then i am going to open a offset path for my guns just the same size of my skull then okay then if we just click here merge and unite you can see this becomes a complete single shape so i am not deselecting it i am just pressing ctrl x so my original gun shape is here but i have a have that offset path in my clipboard and i need that to paste in behind this skull and in front of this wings so i need to select my wings vector here so once i am selecting you can see my skull is not selected only wings group is selected then i can simply open the transparency click inside then if i want to press ctrl f my that gun vector offset path is now pasted you can see here so that is looking good for me but i want my guns to be behind the skull so for that i need that skull to make a offset path but i have a offset path inside this transparency before so i am going to select that offset path then if i press ctrl c to copy i have that in my key clipboard so if i double click here my that vector is deselected but now i need to select my gun vector here so as you can see my gun is now selected then i can open the transparency to paste in front ctrl f and as you can see my skull vectors offset path is now on top of this gun so that is why it is looking the gun is in the background so that is good guys for me right now then i need to place my this eagle vector here but as you can see my eagle is not looking very good there maybe i need to make it a bit smaller in size just like this so that it fits inside the two gun area then once my eagle is placed like this i need to make a offset path for my eagle here just that same size or maybe a bit smaller then okay then i am pressing con merge and unite to make it a complete single shape then cut ctrl x once that is in my clipboard i am going to select click on this this skull here and everything that is this skull and wing was we make a group so that group is selected i am going to open the transparency for them then paste in front ctrl f as you can see that is looking like this that eagle is on top of my skull but these guns are visible through my eagle so i need to fix that then i am again clicking here to come to the surface layer then selecting my guns gun vector group again then i can simply click inside the transparency and paste in front as i have that eagle vector on my
clipboard that is now pasted here so that is good for me guys i just wanted to make this as my final graphic here so once my final graphic is made i need to just make it a group so that everything here becomes one single shape okay so that is good for me now i need to i am not going to use this wings here but i will show you with that wing how to make that kind of us flag themed design so that is good for me now i am going to add my text here so for adding my text i need to break them that is a good script i get from shudeb he gave me that script to break the font if you want i can give you that so comment about that if you want that okay so first of all i am going to use these two text here and then i am going to use some kind of like western type of font that looks good with this gun kind of graphics so i am going to use this go everywhere font this is a really good font i like this as you can see this font have a some have some problem like they are too close to each other so i need to increase the placement like this a little bit then i am going to use my this two text in the in this area to cover the upper part of my graphics so that is let's do that i am drawing a ellipse here just to place it inside the on the area that i want i want it to cover the this point of this wings and this point of this wing and then as i make them a group i can select here the ellipse and my group then if i click here it will be automatically center in center position that is good for me now i need to place my this text here so i'm going to cut this then again i am going to use my type on path tool to click here then i can simply paste it as you can see my text is now pasted but i need to fix the position like this so that it looks like that is in the center point of my graphics here whenever we are working with this kind of graphics we need to keep in mind that everything should look like this is a professional work because when we are using premium graphics or premium vectors but not using any kind of premium text position or any kind of like unprofessional text position that looks really bad so that is the reason we are if you are using premium vectors then our text should be look premium too okay let's not overlap that with my wings here just like this okay that is good for me now i need to select my this text here then copy paste in front ctrl f to make another copy then i am making it a little bigger bigger than my previous text here just like this then i can select my this second option then i am pressing t to bring the type tool then paste in paste here so that is looking good but i need to make that a bit smaller just like this now as you can see that is not looking like in very center position so i need to fix the okay first of all i am going to select on my this group here because that is causing some disturb for me you can see that is the group i am locking that once that is locked i can simply work with my this to text layer only so i need to select the i am doing this manually because i cannot see that indicator that indicates where it should be so that is not a problem right now i need to maybe use it a bit smaller in size <coughs> sorry guys so that is actually good for me i am going to keep them as they are then i can simply use my this graphic here because this second amendment is about the law for bearing guns so i am going to place that one there and then again transform reflect okay so i can use this one here so when i am placing them like this i can see that my text is not perfectly centered or maybe a bit smaller i should make it okay that is looking good for me now whatever i am doing i need to do this inside this area because that is going to be the 
center point of my text okay this is going to be the final area of my artboard so i need to place it like everything should be inside this area sorry just like this so that i am not doing anything outside of my work area so i'm going to cut that and paste in back as we are working with black i am going to make it a bit kind of white but not exactly white then i will not be able to see then i am selecting this layer and locking this once that is locked i can see that wherever i am working and how it is going to look so first of all i need to ungroup my this layer that group so that i am i can select everything from here then as you can see if i just place it like this okay i can see this option is that font is now not in the place i pasted that so i'm going to fix that okay <laughs> this is a bit really i don't like that option so first of all i need to place that where i want as you can see this is the po point of my text that indicates the position of my graphics okay i need to unlock lock my that layer again so that i can place it like the like where i want it to be okay guys sorry for this this is being a bit tricky for me just like this so that is that position is good and when that is in good position i am going to break this font so that it doesn't cause me any more problem and then again i am going to break my that font so they are now fixed now this is going to be the first part of my design then comes the second part okay so for this font also i am going to okay i am going to use this one here that die standing option then i am going to use my stencil land because that is a stencil font like army font so that will look good for my graphic here just like this then i am going to use this one again that go everywhere font maybe a bit is space between them then i'm going to make this one again that same then the surrender one i'm going to make this one into this font then this one in that font okay so once my font is ready i'm going to break them because that caused some problems so this one i'm going to use here i would rather die standing so i'm going to use that one here inside this area and i will fix everything later just placing the design right now placing the text right now okay then on my feet i'm going to make it smaller than surrender one this one i'm going to make it bigger this one will be smaller okay guys so that part is almost done so i need to now select this part this text gun and this group here i need to make them a group so that it stays in the same position then selecting everything to align them center wise then once they are in center position i am going to use my this text here in a bit in a bit a smaller size like that then maybe this one i need to remember that i can do everything whatever i am going to do i have to do everything inside this black inside the rectangle i made then it will then it will be inside our main design area and that will fill the maximum area of a printable t-shirt that's the reason okay this is taking a bit longer than i expected but if you are trying to learn then learn it properly otherwise this is a waste of time so that is good for me now i need to make my make a ruler here so that i can place the ruler here i'm pressing this ruler and then pressing alt to make it flip but i can take 
this side ruler that is not a problem okay so anything should be everything here should be inside my this area so i'm going to make it a bit bigger but not okay not that much bigger just a bit bigger then i can use my this text to fill inside this area and that will sorry that will give me option to keep everything in a same place okay as you can see this text i am selecting them everything here then i am going to press on this option vertical distribute space it will make the space between the letters in a same like the same space in between every letter that is good for me now i need to fill this area with something else that is relevant with my this design here as we are using a gun theme design so maybe a gun here this one i am going to use here as you can see i don't know i should work with this kind of designs or not this may cause me some problem any time okay so once they are in position i am selecting them to align them in center wise that is actually looking good for me now i need to okay i am not satisfied with this text because that should touch this area then it will be good so i am selecting this three because there is some space in this lower area so i can use that space to place my text okay that is actually now good for me then i need to select a i don't know where that is i downloaded some images those have some bullets so i need them right now maybe this one have some okay that is not a bullet actually that is a cigar so don't worry about that we cannot take that but we can use this one just to fill in the area here i'm going to use this <coughs> like this then i can simply make it black the main design process is not yet started like the one i wanted to share guys the flag theme it is still need to be made so this is just some okay that is looking good i need to fill this area too so maybe for that one i am going to use this grenade option i don't know <laughs> this is this may look like a terrorist activity <laughs> i don't know okay so that is good now i need to fill this area but i can simply reflect that grenade and then i am going to make it same size as my text here as you can see if i place it like that it is filling the area then i am going to make it like this okay that is good for me now for this one here i need to select this two you see making a good design is a really hard job it takes a lot of time okay so i am selecting these elements here then aligning them center wise then just positioning their okay like this three then align them center wise that is good okay so this is now the final position of my text here okay guys to be honest i am not satisfied with my this text here i need to make it bigger because this area should look like just like this then i am going to make it also a bit bigger because it should follow the curve here then i don't need this two graphics there this one and this one may be a bit okay i want this eagle head to overlap my text a little bit and once my design is positioned i need to now fix some areas like you can see this 
rifle bottom is overlapping with my text here so i need to fix that if i double click on the rifle graphic here you can see i pasted some graphics inside the transparency then i am now i am going to make a just a black rectangle like this and that will make that area invisible like as you can see my rifle is still visible from here because this is not complete black i need to make this complete black and one once and once it is complete black you can see that area is invisible and you can see my rifle graphics there is they are also not in complete black so i am going to select everything here control a that is inside the transparency okay that is completely black no problem then i am clicking here to come to this layer then i need to make some changes here like this amend amendment text i am going to select that then i am going to make a offset path for that that much okay maybe a bit 15 point is good now cut then i am going to select my this wings layer here i need to double click to select my wings once they are selected or that is coloring group i am going to go to transparency and paste in front as you can see that makes my text this amendment text visible but i don't want this this area of my wings to be visible so i'm going to make a make a random shape here so that that area becomes invisible okay guys i am not erasing anything from here because i will need to change them now this is looking not bad actually i need to just select this text here then maybe a bit bigger in size to, so that it follows the curve of my amendment then i'm going to draw some star shapes here just like this okay i'm pressing shift and all together that is making the star with this that kind of sharp cor sharp corner if i press only shift it will make it like this but i'm pressing control and alt and shift together so that is good for me i like this kind of sharp as stars then one here just to follow the curve here then another one here in a smaller size just to follow this curve maybe this one a bit smaller in size i don't know if there is any more video on youtube like this kind of nonsense talking and this much long time people do make a video by a make a design first then show that design how to make that kind of design and their video don't take this kind of long times so you can see that is looking better than previous so that is actually good oh any, sorry for that i need to do any uh, some more changes like we made the made a offset path of my of our eagle head so if we select here this group we will find that vector inside this area so i'm going to copy this then click here then i need to select my this amendment text here then open the transparency paste in front as you can see that is looking good okay so i don't think this is looking good this area i have a little problem here so i'm going to use my trans sorry pen tool here to make a shape like this just to hide that okay guys i am not erasing anything from my design i am just using transparency because there is a lot more things to do here when we will add some colors in our design so this is the point okay there is some more work still like this then i am going to select my path here offset path option for them that is good then cut select this group double click to open that wings group okay and then paste in front it, it will make it but that is not complete black so we need to make that complete black and there are some problems like these areas so i need to double click here on this wings group if we double click here you can see there is a lots of graphics inside there but that they are not in black so i'm going to make them black once they are black this area are completely invisible so that is good now i need to click here 
okay need to first of all then select everything that is black here then if i click here it will become complete black so if there was any kind of other colors here that is now hidden okay guys so okay i don't think these grenades are looking very good here i'm going to erase them because that is a lots of tiny details and that is complete a black shape so that is not that will not look good just like this i am making this three here then copy them need to paste them here so once they are i am aligning them with my ruler so that is the benefit of ruler if i align them with ruler then reflect it it will reflect again with that alignment so i need to make them a group then this one a group then this three select together center wise then just place it as you feel like that is the good position okay guys so my design is now ready everything that i wanted to make changes on th on this design is now ready now i need to add the colors here so for adding the us flag color or the example image that i showed you like this kind of effect applying this kind of effect i am going to add that so first of all i need to compare with my graphic here then that how is this going to be like i need some stars right so i need to make them small or bigger that will depend on the size of my graphics here like if i want to fill this area these wings with us flag theme then i need to okay sorry for that then i need to make my graphic in the same size that it will fill the area but look good not smaller not bigger i think this kind of star size will look good on that area so i'm going to just make some copies here just like this okay not that much closer just a bit just like this then make some copies here once that is placed in position we can simply use that again like this okay so as you can see this is now my star graphics here i need to make them white because the white is the color of the stars then i need to make a rectangle here just like this so that it fills the area then i need to make that in us flag color blue then paste in back okay i need to first of all select everything then accept this rectangle then make them a group and then if i select everything here then i can simply align them center wise so once they are aligned in a center wise position then i need to open my swatch panel and then drag that to my swatch you can see there is a swatch now added so then i need to make that red and the other red and white stripe color here so for that kind of colors i need to make a copy here first without keeping any space between them then just press ctrl d to duplicate them as you can see that is good now i need to select my shapes here like one after another like the nurse design we did before same as that then i'm going to use this darker red for my flag area so i'm selecting them without these wings then dragging them in my swatch panel so that is now good for me that is looking good now i need to select everything here inside this graphic area then if i merge it okay sorry the merging will not work because we applied some effect inside transparency so we are not merging okay now the time for placing our colors inside the area so i'm going to make this eagle head in this kind of star and blue background and these two will be my us color stripe option so i need to select the wings you see only the wings nothing else so i need to keep double clicking until the wings is visible you can see only the wings is now visible nothing else then i need to make a rectangle here just like this cut paste in back 
and if we change the color a little like this you can see that this is the wing and this is the rectangle here then we need to select this two then use this divide option so once that is divided if we double click here we will be able to delete that part as you can see now we have only this color inside our black shapes so we can simply now add those kind of effect inside this like if i select here you can see only that color is being selected so if i select this one here then i my open my source panel i can simply press here it will give me that us flag star kind of look then if i select everything that is okay i have to select take my magic wand tool if i click here it will select that only those colors and then if i click here it will fill it with that us color flag as you can see this is really easy to apply this kind of effect on a on a certain area so i'm going to do the same process for my this wings here keep clicking until my wings is visible you can see now my wings is visible then if i drag a shape here rectangle here sorry paste in back control b then if i select change the color maybe then if i select my this wings again use my divider tool double click on the blank area to select then delete once that is deleted you can select this color so again we are going to do the same process star and then magic one to select the rest of the area then stripe so that is really good process and you can see everything the every effect that we applied here that is still visible now so let's do the same process with our eagle here eagle vector as you can see we need to <coughs> select the eagle vector and keep clicking until the only the eagle vector is visible as you can see we can select the eagle only here then i need to draw <coughs> rectangle here sorry my voice is hurting now this been a long time so i'm going to paste in back now if i select my eagle vector and my this rectangle then i can simply use my divider tool so as you can see once they are divided i can simply double click here to erase this part <coughs> sorry so once that is done it is looking like very weird but we need to right click and exit isolation mode it will look good and then again we need to go to go inside this panel here to select my our eagle vector and then if we click here keep clicking on this color once the color is selected you will see that in here now you need to use your magic control to select this like this if i click here this color is now selected now i am going to use that stripe color so that is looking very weird again then again exit isolation mode as you can see that is the eagle face now looking we can make some more changes here like inside this area we can apply another color but that is a lots of work i am not going to do that for now i am just going to make it in a different way so we are going to use this skull as you can see now my skull is only visible then i need to make a rectangle like this cut paste in back then maybe change the color <coughs> sorry about this guys so now i need to select my skull and then my rectangle here again use my divide a tool to divide them it like this then you can see it is not looking very good but i'm double clicking here then delete it is now related the same problem but we are now going to select our magic wand tool to select the pink color from here then if we paste that star effect here that is looking very weird again right click exit resolution mode okay guys so that is not looking very good maybe there is some problem with that when we are selecting this kind of colors we need to first of all we need to make sure that our face details is still there okay that is still there so don't worry just using my magic wand tool to select the pink color from here then applying that effect then i need to click here okay as you can see that is now not looking very good 
but that is because my skull is now sorry for that I need to select my skull here just like this then if I select click here the okay not like that okay guys I made a mistake here that is after deleting that part I need to double click here to see that if that is working for me or not but it is not because those face part is different from my skull so I can simply fix that just double click here to isolate my skull here then once my skull is isolated from here you can see now I need to use my magic one tool to select the pink from here then cut as you can see my skull details are still here and these are a separate part from that one so that is the reason of this problem so I need to paste in back so control B you can see now it is looking good and then I can simply use my that flag and star effect here but that is not looking very good because the skull is in like skull is in kind of skull is black and that color is also black so that is not looking good I am selecting clicking here to select that making that white or not white maybe a bit gray like this ok let's make it white again so that it looks good for us then again we need to then change our eagle vector here just like this keep clicking until your this pattern is selected then make it black sorry white then it will look good so that is good for us guys because this area is looking like the flag color that is good now just we need to select our other elements and then use the color that we want then maybe this one also in this red color then this one and this one I am going to use white and then for this area like this you can see this gun we need to fix our gun now this is a lots of work guys to make this kind of design so I am going to draw a rectangle here I am getting an emergency phone call I need to attend that so once that is pasted in back selecting this divide then once divided I am erasing this part because I just want to keep the white inside my gun that is it so that will look good trust me this is going to be the really good looking badass design just keep watching so again making a rectangle paste in back ok I need to change the color in white then select my gun and this to that rectangle divide again delete then double click here to paste that in back so for this two of course I need to again ok I am selecting them to make them a group then double clicking to isolate this group then I am going to draw a white shape here rectangle white cut paste in back that is pasted in behind these two guns so now my two gun and this white shape is selected I am going to click on this divide it will make it divide then if I if I double click here that is erased so that is the position of my text here right now I am going to make this one white as well then I need to select my this group here these four elements I am going to make them a group together then double click to isolate them then making a rectangle for them just like this then I am going to control X control B to paste in back then I am going to select everything inside here these shapes and this rectangle then again use divide tool double click to select our rectangle erase and exit ok guys <laughs> sorry for this this is a really hard work so I am going to select my this text here and I am going to make that white because there is a lots of red close to that area then this one I am going to make it that red this stars I am going to again ok maybe make them white just don't waste any more time ok so are you ready to <laughs> view the final design <coughs> ok guys so we are done now I need to unlock my this 
layer so that we can make it black and this is the final design as you can see this is the final design every details is now here in is now visible like the for pasting that kind of black color inside our design or maybe just to in it we can do a little more tricks here to make it stand out selecting my this gun vector here just to make a offset path for them but not in 15 15 pixel size maybe 5 pixel that is good just a bit then merge unite to make it a complete okay that becomes a complete white shape don't worry just cut select this gun group control b paste in back okay as you can see that is now looking good my gun is now visible from this area but there is a little problem don't worry just select this gun layer here this small white area here and once that is selected i am going to open the transparency for them then i am going to draw a rectangle here just to keep it the same area of my okay this is now in white so this is not looking good once in black it is looking good so again guys that's it thank you everyone for watching it for this long this is a really long video i hope this one will give you some idea guys how to make this kind of designs and to be honest i am not going to upload this on any print on demand site because there is a lots of vector works and all of them are from taken from free pick so i am not going to use them just this is for a tutorial guys this is for teaching you how to make this kind of designs okay i need to take my this vector then control f to paste in front and that is good for me guys i always had i always had this kind of areas to be stage empty so i am fixing that again okay guys i am very sorry this is already too much time for this video i don't know how it is recorded if there is any problem then i will not be able to fix that just like this so that is good for me now okay guys thank you everyone this is the final video thank you for watching i hope this one will give you some idea how to make that kind of flag pattern just use a pattern first then select the area wherever you want to paste it and how you want to make it so thank you everyone see you in the next video have a great time